What's going on everybody? This is David and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix or possibly fix any crashing issues that you're having with your 4080, 4090 or 4070 Ti. Crashing can mean the game crashing, uh, you get a blue screen of death, your whole system shuts down, any kind of crashing. I will give you some tips on how to fix them and what worked for me. So I have an RTX 4080. I've got a 5800X3D processor, and now I have some Corsair Vengeance 32 gigabyte RAM. So I'm gonna show you what didn't work for me, but what a lot of people said in the comments or in the forums did work for them. And I'm also gonna, going to show you what did work for me. So I've been having some pretty major crashes, uh, mostly in Battlefield 5, Battlefield 2042. But other games too, Halo Infinite, uh, the game I'm playing right now, the single per game, Uncharted. Those games all crashed within a period of time. Some crashed within 10 minutes, some crashed within 15, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. They all crashed to either the desktop or they gave me a blue screen of death. So I'm going to show you what didn't work for me, but might work for you first. So the first thing you got to want to do is... In the NVIDIA control panel, you're gonna to wanna to change your power management to max. So right click, show more options. This is Windows 11, by the way. Go to NVIDIA control panel. So some people have said that this has worked for them. Uh, go into change 3D settings. Uh, go down and where you see this power management mode, Click prefer maximum performance. Now this did not work for me, so I'm gonna leave it on normal, but some people did say that their system was a lot more stable uh, while putting it on the prefer maximum performance. Another person said what worked for them was if you go to uh, adjust video settings or adjust, uh, rather adjust desktop size and position. Somebody said that they had no scaling turn on and flipping it onto full screen helped. Now I already have it on full screen, so I don't need to um, fix this issue. But somebody said that after switching it into full screen that they no longer saw any crashes with their 4080. All right, so those are the things which did not work for me. Another thing that you want to want to do is you can change your PCIe to Gen 3. So if you go, if you restart your machine and go into BIOS settings and then change your Gen, uh, it might be like change your PCIe um, connection to Gen 3. So in your BIOS settings, it might be on auto, might be on Gen 4, change it to Gen 3. And this has helped a lot of people. For me, it did not do anything. So I just keep it on Gen 4. Also, another thing that could work is to turn off XMP or DOCP if you're on AMD. And basically what that is, is it reverts your RAM speeds to normal. So if you have a 3600 megahertz kit like I do, and you put it on or you turn off XMP or DOCP, it'll revert to like 2133 or something, super low. Obviously you don't wanna be running your RAM at that speed all the time, but some people have said that it has worked. But that did not work for me either. This is what did work for me. So after experiencing all those crashes, pretty much every single game that I was playing and sometimes having blue screen of death, Here's what I first did. The first fix that helped me or basically eliminated all of my crashing issues was unplugging my cord from the power supply, unplugging it from this surge protector extension cord and plugging it straight into the wall. I don't know why it only happens with the 4080 since I had a 3090 Ti and a 3090 in the system before and I had no issues. 
but I guess with the 4080, maybe the power spikes are more aggressive. So I will just get random crashing. And as soon as I plugged it straight into the wall, I saw no crashing in Battlefield 5. I was playing that game for a straight like hour and a half. I saw no crashing in Halo Infinite, but I still see saw a little bit of crashing in Battlefield 2042. And one time when I closed Battlefield 5, the entire screen, or no, I closed Battlefield 5, and then I wanted to turn off the desktop, and the entire screen went blue screen to death, blue, blue screen to death, and then it restarted my computer automatically. So I was still having some issues. However, the majority of issues have been fixed by straight plugging into the wall outlet. The other issue I was having is my RAM. So bef now I have Corsair Vengeance DDR4 3600 megahertz RAM, 32 gigabytes in this system. And I just bought this, I just got it delivered yesterday. But what I had in here before was some kind of ol Oloi, Chinese, like I don't know if it's a Chinese company or a Taiwanese company, but it's some kind of no name brand kind of RAM, you know, not very popular. It's basically cheaper RAM. And uh, I, I ran all the memory tests on this RAM and it all passed, but I was still having, you know, the blue screen of death issues. So as soon as I changed to this Corsair memory, I literally played Battlefield 2042 yesterday for like straight two hours, Battlefield 5 for a couple hours, Halo Infinite for a couple hours. I literally played to Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, um, Warzone 2, actually, I don't have Modern Warfare 2, uh, Modern Warfare 2019. I played all those games without a single crash, without a single blue screen of death. So that's what worked for me. If you guys are having issues with your crashing, the 4090, 480, 4070 Ti, try these tips and see if they work for you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. God bless.